So that's, that's of the portable hospital, that's one step. Now there's four steps, yes. so do we go to that next or do we? Yes, yes, we can now talk about other use of these two boxes. Now the difference between these two boxes, by the way, is that one of them is slender and runs off of one nine volt battery, which wears out um, in about uh, 12 to 20 hours uh, when doing the, the blood electrification function or in less time um, when do, making colloidal silver. However, this does have an optional adapter that you can buy for it. You can also run this off of solar cells if you need to. This unit um, has three nine volt batteries which last a very good long time um, and very rarely need to be replaced. But in any case, either one of these units uh, can also has a second function. You'll notice that there are two jacks on them. One of them is for the blood electrification, the other is for, uh, excuse me, one is for colloidal silver, the other is for the blood electrification. Um, and both of these units do both of these functions. And so it's a very compact unit that has incredible uses. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's just absolutely mind boggling for the small amount of money that these units cost all the things that, that, that they're capable of and all the wonderful stories I've heard about them. But let's go and actually demonstrate the blood electrification uh, use and while we're demonstrating it, I'll explain a little bit more about what it is and what it does. So do you want to help me get set up with this? Let me get my Absolutely. list of my pops out here. Here's a wristband. Now, now, while you're doing that, you're, you're not going to turn blue on us having drank all that colloidal silver. Oh, no, no, no. That only happens with mild silver protein, which is a compound of silver. It is not pure silver such as this is. Uh, you'd have to be very ingenious to get mild silver protein out of this, and I'm not uh, going to rec recommend anybody does that. No, uh, with silver, uh, I've drunk gallons of this. I've right. eaten the powder. Nothing, you know, right. I'm, I'm, I'm still the same color I was uh, four years ago. Well, the reason I ask that is I always hear that, and, yeah. and I have found that, that I personally uh, have had the same experience that you've had. So we just fasten this a little elastic band here, right? Yeah, that's right. And, then and, and, and the favorite place to tie this is on the wrist where there's, a, uh, where there's two convenient pulse points. One of them, um, as you can see on the, on the camera here, is just below the thumb where we're going to put one of these little electrodes. There. Okay. Um, and the other one um, is on the other side of the wrist. Now go ahead and unwrap that for me a little bit. All right. Okay. This is fun. It and, works. And uh, we'll slide that under here. Now what we've done is we've carefully placed these electrodes over the pulse points. Now anybody that's taken the pulse poly is taking it below their wrist um, and you can actually measure it there. And uh, if you're careful, you can usually find a weaker pulse on the other side uh, right on, down the line from the pinky as opposed to under, under the thumb here. And you just have these on the wrist. This is an elastic strap. It's very comfortable. And uh, go ahead and uh, we'll plug me in. Okay, we just plug it into this one. Yeah, that's the right yep, size. Yep. All right. And there's a, th a small thumb wheel switch. I myself uh, prefer this, this particular version of it because it fits into a shirt pocket, but this you can also wear comfortably. And uh, a lot of times what I'll actually do is I'll actually run the wires up my shirt sleeve and actually have the sitting so the wires don't get tangled as I move around because in ordinary usage, what I do is I will use this, um, well, I will start with 15 minutes and work my way up to using this one to two hours. And what I'll do is I'll turn this thumb wheel switch up to the point where I will feel on my wrist uh, a uh, mild thumping sensation. And uh, what it'll feel like is somebody is tapping me. Uh, if I turn it up too high, uh, it'll feel uncomfortable. And occasionally, my fingers will twitch, which doesn't really, isn't really harmful. It just feels uncomfortable. If it's down too low, I won't know it's working. Uh, when I first started, um, I only used this about 15 minutes. Uh, and gradually, as I got used to it, I would do this more and more. It's sort of like preparing for a marathon. Um, when, uh, if, when, when, when you're ready, getting ready for a marathon, do you, I mean, do you just go out and run it? No. No, no, no of course works, not. Your muscles will tighten up if you don't. You, that's, that's right, and you probably run out of, uh, out of, out of uh, vitality and endurance well before you get done. You have to work your way up to it, gradually, one day at a time. And this is the same way. First, you, I, I'd start with 15 minutes, and then work up to an half an hour, and then an hour over a matter of, of days and weeks, and up to two hours. In my case, um, I had uh, digestive problems, and I actually found myself going up to 20 hours a day, but I had to work up to that over a matter of a few months. 
And I did it that, uh, that much just because I found it helped me. And it took me quite a while. I was a really hardcore case. <laughs> yeah, uh, most people find they have a benefit long before that. And I usually found I had enough when there was a change in my level of alertness. I get agitated or relaxed, and I knew that was enough. So it's important, at least initially, not to fall asleep with it or, uh, or to, uh, to get too distracted, um, not be uh, operating machinery with it, at least until you get familiar with it. And you know, you have to listen to your body. This is gradual getting back to health over a matter of time. And so um, gradually what it's doing is as the blood is flowing and the blood flows by here, it's becoming mildly electrified. We're putting energy, light, the, uh, you know, what, what God created and gave us um, into the body in a very gentle, um, very precisely controlled amount. And what that's gradually doing, just like the patent says, it's attenuating the virus, bacteria, and fungi that's floating in there. And anybody can go and get a drop of their blood drawn, look at it under a high-powered microscope uh, using live cell analysis. You can usually call around and find somebody that has one of these microscopes. And they can see what the blood looks like before and after. Before, you will see that it's, uh, they'll tell you it's full of um, stuff that looks, that at a lot of times you can see the bacteria floating around in there and, and they, you can watch them attach to the cell walls and get inside and eat, eat up the cells. You can actually watch this, it's, wow. it's amazing. And after doing this for a few months, it does often take a few months, um, the blood is clean, it's, it's kosher, there's nothing more there. Uh, it's, just, uh, it's just pure red blood cells and white blood cells, there's, there's nothing left in there. It's, it's really quite amazing and in the process, um, the immune system has a, ch a chance to relax and just, you know, it, it'll just uh, have some breathing room. Um, and what it does at that point is whatever it is that isn't perfectly balanced in the body starts to come back into balance in a very natural, gradual process. Now, sometimes there'll be uh, times where the body will hurry up in the process and uh, there, there may be fevers or chills or whatever in the early days. That means just back it off a little bit, you know, just, just take it a little bit easier, listen to the body, work with it. Um, and so gradually over a period of time, the, the body just comes back into balance in a very gentle, easy manner. Mike, um, aren't you the one that uh, the doctors, after testing your blood in the beginning, and they saw that background clutter, mm -hmm. I believe they call it, showing, I guess, viruses and pathogens and whatever diseases are floating around in your bloodstream, that background clutter, whatever it is, is it not true that you're the one that they've now termed this blood that comes from using these witty inventions, they've termed the blood immortal after so many months or days? <laughs> right, right. Yeah, it, it's, it's a very strange story because um, um, they took a drop of my blood after I'd been doing the blood electrification for uh, about uh, three or four months in a very intensive fashion. Now, the blood uh, is entirely rebuilt every four months. So it, it took a few months, and I'd be wearing this up to 20 hours a day, so practically my blood was being treated all the time. Um, and uh, they usually when you take a blood, you put it on a slide, and within a few days, you can watch the blood decay. You can literally watch the blood fall apart.